And welcome back, everyone. I'm so happy to welcome to studio today my good friend, Abby Scott, and her incredible accompanist, uh, Christian Hawkins. Is that what you call a guitar player? Do you, does he accompany you? Is that how that works? I would say so, yeah. yeah. He accompanies mm -hmm. you not only with his guitar, but just because he's a great band member. Right. right? Exactly. Exactly. Welcome to both of you, both local, uh, born and raised in this area, and now you guys are making a go of it with music, and I love that. Abby, first of all, let's talk about that. How long have you been singing? I've been singing for as long as I can remember. I would say at least at the age of five, I entered my first contest, so a very long time. And you've been writing songs for a long time too. Yeah, as long as I can remember. Uh, I put out lots of music over the years and we are going to be putting out some more music here in the near future. We're writing a lot of new things so we're excited about that. So much fun to see all the success that you're having and Christian I'm sure for you to be part of the group and having fun. Do you enjoy being part of a group and how long have you been in it? Oh yeah, definitely. I think uh, we're running on a year now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Think, so you're, but... you're new to, new to, with Abby but not new to music. You've been oh, yeah. doing this a long time. Yeah, quite a while. How long have you been playing guitar? Um, guitar probably about 10 years ish. See, long yeah. time. Yeah. You actually work uh, locally at the music shop, yes. right? Yeah. And guitar lessons? Right, exactly. So see, after this performance, there's going to be some people out there that are like, well, I need Christian to teach me to play the guitar, and they can look you up at the music shop, right? Definitely, yeah. Abby, what do you think is the most special thing for you when you come back and you play here at home? Because you've been in Nashville, you went to uh, Lipscomb mm -hmm. University. You played at CMA Fest. We got to go down and see her there amongst the big time artists. Yeah. When you come home and you fill a place, what does it mean to you? It means a lot because playing at home is a different vibe. I have a lot of local faces that come out to see me show after show, and it just means the world to me that people want to support something that I just genuinely love doing. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you know, and I know. For both of you, there's some dates coming up, which is kind of why we brought you in today, because yeah. you're going to be playing at a lot of places in the coming summer yeah. months and even into the fall. We have some of those uh, on the screen right now. June 4th, you're going to be at the Strawberry Festival, mm -hmm. big Strawberry Festival in Rosedale. You'll be up at the 12 Points Fest, which is growing leaps and bounds in that region of Terre Haute on June 11th and 12th, and the 17th at the Mill. Mm -hmm. Are you super stoked about this one? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We're very excited and thankful, very thankful to be a part of this new new event that's going to be coming to Terre Haute. Because it's going to feature a lot of local artists, Yeah, right? it's a big mm -hmm. local artist festival, local food trucks, local vendors, so we're just excited to be a part of the first big show for that. And that's June 17th, folks, so you're going to want to remember that one. Um, you said you're working on some new music, right? Yes. You're going to perform for us. Is it a new song or an older song you wrote? This is one of our older songs. Um, if people like it, it's still out there on iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, all of those things. You just look up Abby Scott, and it's from my EP called This Is Me. This is me indeed. Well, you're <laughs> going to get to hear her perform a song called Voodoo. Yes. She and Christian together will be performing for you right after this short break. So don't go away so you can listen to Voodoo with Abby and Christian. Stick with us. <laughs> 